Hello everyone, this is Tom with Stock Navigator and this is today's market update for May 28, 2020. If you uh, look at the chart here on the left side, that's the SBY, that's the Spider S&B 500 ETF chart. So the market is still push it back up right into the target uh, zone, which is on the pivot video I showed you yesterday. So the market be able to fund to it but when they hit to the 306 area here, they are running out of gas. So you can see that this is a little bit bearish formation here. So it depends on how the market they going to open tomorrow. If you get a bearish candle here, that will tell you that will be something will be in the correction. So right now, uh, today, if you look at the smaller time frame on the uh, mini SP 500 to the whole morning, uh, the market it goes sideways after the breakout and then the run up and in our light trading room, we already uh, predefined our today target. So the market they run up after breaking out, they run up right into the today target and then the seller coming in and then put it right back down to the pivot support. So this is very important. So this is a very uh, bearish, a lot of sell up here. So every time they have a lot of uh, big sell up, usually it, they will follow through. So by tomorrow or overnight on the uh, EMD uh, future, if they continue to push it back down, and then you can see that the market will uh, have some pullback before they can uh, tell it more clear direction where they want to go next. So if you look at the, uh, uh, the the uh, different chart. This is the reason why I say so, because you look at on the uh, uh, mini SP 500 uh, June contact, you can see that every single time you see this formation, they go up, and then they give you a doji, and then tomorrow give it a barret, and you have a couple of days to go and down. Over here, it like this. If tomorrow it's a barret candle, you have a couple of days like this. And if it do like that, the same thing here, you have a couple of days like that. So that's the nature of the market have been doing for the last couple of weeks. So we have to wait and see tomorrow how things look like. And then that will tell you uh, where they're heading to. As long as it's still above the trend line, the market is still in the uptrend. And if you look at, if you're a day trader, <laughs> you can see that the whole morning, uh, the market, it goes sideways. Uh, they, they don't go anywhere. So in our light trading room, we uh, uh, remind everybody they have to stay in the sideway uh, and a little bit and after the breakout, and then they will hit to our today target and take the profit and call for the day. So as you can see here in the smaller time frame, so we already define in our light trading room where the sell zone, where the buy zone. So when the market open, the people can short here and they will take the profits here and start going long. So they stick in the channel here after they get out of the sell zone, but now become a buy zone. So I jump in and get out from my light trading room and take a quick trade, hit to today's target. And the net profit for today is $2,031. It's not bad for uh, a little bit time to spend and make some money. And if you hang out there until the end of the day, after the market come down, they pull back up. Now they break down. This is where the people start shorting it because the market, it, they hit uh, all time high here since March 23rd. So every time people take profit, they will hit a lot of stop lot and pull it back down very quickly. So this is what you know if you understand how to read the chart so that you can see clearly where the market is heading to. So to see what I have for you today and let's see uh, how the market open tomorrow and uh, we will go from there. So thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.